Good morning, everyone. It is August 1st, 2024. Happy Thursday. Um, and as you can see, my screen does look different today. We are going to start off with the tropics. And as you can see, the kind of potential storm we have been watching so far is kind of taking a left turn. At least this cone of uncertainty here is kind of taking a turn. The models are all, not all of them, but a good amount of them are kind of now pointing the storm kind of going through the Gulf and kind of stalling over Florida, but I will show you what those look like with the models. But before we do look at the models here, I did just want to talk about the Eastern Pacific here real quick. Um, and as you can see, we actually do have Tropical Storm Carlotta out there. It is currently at 60 miles per hour, but they are projecting the storm to kind of just go out into the Pacific and kind of do its thing. We also still have those two other disturbances out here. This one is now an 80% chance of forming a cyclonic formation in the next seven days, and it does have a 20% for the 48 hours. And this third disturbance is still at a 20% chance of kind of forming in the next seven days, but they also have that 20% chance for 48 hours. Now moving on to the models here, as you can see, it does show the storm kind of going almost on top of Cuba and then kind of hovering in the Gulf near Florida. Not making landfall, but it is it is kind of just stalling out here and getting kind of turning into a more major hurricane and then going into the US kind of near Louisiana and Mississippi. But we don't know what's going to happen with this. We don't know the exact track or if this is going to stall properly to kind of get stronger. But what the European model is showing is almost kind of the opposite. Um, as I said, we don't know if this is going to get stronger or if it's just going to not really form at all. So the European model doesn't really show it doing much. It's barely even a low pressure system at this point and it kind of just hovers around Florida, kind of dropping a lot of different little scattered showers and thunderstorms. Now here's what the ICON model is showing, and that model is showing it kind of going a little bit above Cuba, but then just going directly over Florida and kind of going from there. So these are all very different scenarios still. They are kind of showing the same kind of direction, but, but we still don't know what this storm is going to do, so we will continue to monitor it. Now moving on to the weather back on land, today we do have a slight risk for severe weather, kind of in the lower Midwest into the Ohio Valley, mostly in Illinois, Indiana, and southwestern Ohio, or kind of really just the western side of Ohio, and a good amount of Kentucky. A little bit of Missouri is in there, um, but we do have a 2% tornado risk, a 5% hail risk, as well as the 15% wind risk. And for day two, we do only have a marginal risk for severe weather, kind of in the Ohio Valley moving into the east, and then we do have that little marginal risk over here in southeastern Arizona. And for day three, we also have a marginal risk for severe weather so far, still in the eastern part of the U.S., as well as a little spot near kind of Minnesota and the Dakotas. Now moving back to the models, starting with the HRRR model, as you can see, kind of just going throughout this morning and then into the afternoon today, storms kind of go through Illinois and Indiana, and then into the evening it does go to Kentucky and Ohio kind of dissipating from there and then reigniting tomorrow, but still very scattered. But it looks like most of our kind of compact weather tonight is going to kind of be on the Indiana-Kentucky border into Ohio as well. And here's the European model, kind of a similar scenario here, going into the overnight hours, into the second, as you can see, most of the storms kind of going through the that area, just kind of the Indiana, Kentucky, Illinois border. These kind of do show a little more south for the more compact weather, 
And for tomorrow's weather, um, showing in the mid-Atlantic region, um, on the European model, as you can see, it is just kind of showing a lot of different scattered storms throughout kind of tomorrow and Friday in the mid-Atlantic. So I would just expect a lot of scattered storms kind of forming here and there. And here's what the GFS model is showing for tomorrow and Friday. And as you can see, still just a lot of scattered storms here and kind of reignite in the evening of the third into the fourth. Now moving on to the Climate Prediction Center, and as you can see, I know you see that blue like I see the blue, but it looks like we are getting that kind of cold front coming in here, which is thankfully going to give a good amount of the U.S. a breath kind of just a breath of fresh air. It has been so hot lately, and I know the whole country was feeling it, but thankfully it looks like Mother Nature is going to give us a break. I just hope that she gives the West a break sometime soon, because I know you guys are scolding. But as you can see, it is kind of showing just the northeastern part of the U.S. in the 6 to 10 day outlook, and in the 14 day outlook, it is showing it moving further south. So hopefully that does continue to move south and just kind of give everybody a break. Just to kind of show you the cool down here on the European model, as you can see, it does show that cold front kind of moving down into the U.S. as it moves into next week. And it does thankfully bring that cool down for the most part for a good amount of the northern U.S. and hopefully it just continues to move down. And here's where they believe the rain will fall for the most part, showing most of that in Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, and a little bit of Illinois. Kind of still the Midwest area is receiving a good amount of showers, but it looks like most of that rain will be dumped in kind of the tri-state area of Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio. And yeah, that was really all I had to talk about here today. So thank you guys so much for watching. It really means a lot to me, and I look forward to learn more as always. Maxie out. Bye-bye.